Hey guys, Jay Broader Performance. I uh, just want to do a quick one here. I'll probably do a lot of videos on torque converters at some point, but just kind of wanted to show you. This is a it's a 12 inch converter, very common on these Fords, and you can see here I've got a little weld here, little weld here. Uh, I'm in the process of welding this up, but what happens is uh, let me back off here this whole assembly with the fins and everything it just kind of sits into these little and you can see here there's little tabs that just kind of sit in these little pockets that are very shallow so like when you look in the outside and you see these dimples those are the little pockets all the dimples and that's where the tabs sit and this one here, which is very, very, very common, this whole assembly was kind of out of the, all the tabs are kind of falling out of the pockets. And so basically these things end up falling apart and you have a big, huge mess. So, you know, you probably hear a lot about furnace brazing, welded fins and that sort of thing. And this is the reason is it's just to you're either going to furnace braze or weld the fins to keep them in the pockets and I'm in the process of just starting to do some welding on these fins so I you know it took some doing to get it back into place sometimes I can't they get really bent up and you really can't get them back in the pockets anymore so then you really can't use the converter anymore but uh, this one it's you know back in where it should be I've got it kind of tacked in place and I'm about to go ahead and weld the rest of the fins just kind of want to show you that this is very common on these stock converters so if you you know rebuilding a transmission or you bought a really nice transmission especially if it's rated for some power or whatever and you go oh shoot man yeah I don't want to spend 500 or more on a converter I can get a converter here for a hundred bucks or whatever. Well, a lot of times this is what you're getting, and with any power, it's going to want to fall apart on you. So I'm going to try to pause here for a minute, weld the rest of the fins, and then I'll show you uh, it finished. As it does it does take some time to do this, a little very tedious little job here. So let me uh, put you on hold here for a minute and finish the job. Okay, I'm back. And here it is. Now this is um, it's a very mild build here. This is just for a, you know three three fifty horse steel. You know if it's higher power. You can do more welding, but uh, you can see. Let me grab a glove here because this is still very hot. All right. Uh, we well, can take a better look at it. And you know, the more power it is, the more you're gonna, the more you're gonna weld it, and the longer the welds get, and that sort of thing. But uh, for this, this is gonna be much better than factory. I welded all the uh, this on the bottom here, where you see all these small welds. This is uh, all for the intake of the pump, as they call it. And then out here in the fins. I just weld every so often on those. Uh, not as much, not as much tendency for these outer fins to get folded as there is on these inner ones. Uh, but again, this is not big power. If this is big power, then yeah, I'm going to be welding up here and uh, you know more weld, longer welds, that sort of thing. But something like this, this three three fifty horse deal that this is for. This is going to be great, especially considering it had no welds at all. So, I just wanted to show you that real quick because a lot of people say, "Well, what you, what's welded fins? What? Why am I paying for that? What does that mean? Or what's what's furnace brazed?" I want to tell people, look, that's okay if you don't want to buy a converter from us, but just make sure you know don't don't fall into the trap of, "Oh wow, here's a converter for seventy five dollars." Yeah, it's may not hold up for what you're doing uh, so don't buy a you know don't buy an 800 Haas rated transmission and buy a $7,500 converter for it 
because it's just going to fall apart and then when all this falls apart and the metal goes through the nutrients well that's junk too now so kind of a penny wise pound foolish deal on that one so I just wanted to show you this so you're not so when people tell you this you know oh, we weld the fins or we fern sprays them and we charge you more for it I don't want you to think that you know these people are just trying to you know they're just being salesmen and trying to upsell you on something this is important and these 12 inch converters here or even the 11 inch converters are pretty much the same Ford used them on C4, C6, FMX, uh, you know, E4OD, AOD, 4R70W. Some of them are factory furnace braced on the newer stuff, very few, but majority of them, the fins just sat like this and they were just kind of staked in place, so uh, just, something, just something to know and be aware of when you're shopping around. So I'll do... A lot more detail on converters at some point. I think there's probably more to torque converters than there is transmissions. So, anyways, uh, just a quick one here. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.